In order to produce quality visualizations, it's important to understand animations. Animations can be useful for making visuals appear, show how data changes over time, or show interactions with the user. In this lesson, I'll go over the basics of animation and show how we can animate our data points using transitions. To do this, I will modify the code which draws the circles. I'll start by animating the Y position for the points. I'd like them to start at the bottom, so instead of setting the center Y to the Y function, I'll start them at zero. Then, I'll declare that these elements have a transition and that the center Y value should move to the value of the Y function. That was easy. Let's see it again. It's a little fast. I can slow it down by setting the duration to one and a half seconds. Now it's easier to see. I can animate the radius of the points as well. I'll start at zero and animate to the square root of the value. Cool. Now I'd like to create a staggered effect. I can set a delay on the animation and I will base it on the index of the data. I'll stagger each one by 300 milliseconds after the previous. You can see it better if I add some more points. That's an introduction to animations in D3. They are first class feature of the library, so they're easy to apply. The topic of animation goes really deep, but that's for another lesson.